For this session, we will talk about data migration. For data migration, we think that there is an old system from a, uh, of a particular business, and from that old system, we transfer it to SAP. So let's define first what is data migration. Data migration involves selecting, extracting, importing business data from the client's legacy system to SAP Business One. So there are three processes involved here in your data migration. First is the selection, second is the extraction, third is the importing. Let's first talk about your selection. When we talk about your selection of your data, it is not uh, it is not advisable for you to get all the data from the old system and then place it into your SAP. That is because not all your business partners, for example, are still active because not all of them are still transacting business or doing business with your business. Therefore, I think it is unnecessary for you to add those business partners. For example, a particular supplier is not already supplying to your business, so you don't consider that supplier as a particular business partner. Therefore, I think it is improper for you to migrate that data from the old system to your new system. Therefore, in your selection, again, it is not advisable to select all. You only select the data that is still used or currently used by the business. Next, we extract. After we select the data, of course, we extract that data, meaning we get the data from the old system. And after extracting that data from the old system, we will now import it to your SAP Business One. So we have here your old system now going to your SAP. So in your old system, the process is we select and extract. And in your SAP Business One, we will now import that data. Now, the old system is known as your legacy system. The old system is known as your legacy system. Now, after knowing the concept of data migration, the next question is, how do we migrate the data from your old system to your SAP Business One? So there are two ways. There are two ways to import data from your old system to SAP Business One. And what are those two ways? The first one is import from your Excel. And the second one is your data transfer workbench. Data transfer workbench. Okay. Now for this session, our main focus only is your importation from Excel. And we will not talk about data transfer from Workbench. Okay. Now, how do we import from Excel? Now, business partner data and item data. Therefore, if you are using import from Excel as a general rule, as a general rule, what can you import only is the business partner master data or OCRD and your item master data or your OITM. So only two main master data, business partner master data and item master data. And you cannot import general ledger accounts because again, under SAP, they're already built in general ledger accounts and then you cannot also import transactional data meaning results of your transactions or your previous transactions you cannot import it from your legacy system to your SAP. so as you can see in your import from excel utility you have here your items and your business partner and how do we make use of that data we will transfer it to microsoft excel and after transferring it to Microsoft Excel, we will save the Microsoft Excel, save the Microsoft Excel file as TXT file. 
However, the TXT file should be a tab delimited text file. Tab delimited text file. Okay. So in saving your Excel file, do not save it as Excel, but save it as TXT tab delimited text file. After that, you now import it in SAP Business One. So again, the process, we first select the data from our old system, and then we extract the data and import it now in SAP. So how do we import it? We can only import items and business partner master data. We input that in items and business partner master data in our Microsoft Excel. And then we save that Microsoft Excel file in SAP Business One. After saving that, uh, we save that Microsoft Excel as TXT file and import it now in SAP Business One. Now, we all know that we can only import two master data, generally business partner and item master data. However, what are the important fields that we must place in our import file or in our TXT file? So in your business partner, the following are mandatory items or fields, code, name, and type. So as to the type, you can place there either customer, vendor, or lead. If there is no entry that exists for the type of business partner, when you talk about fields, these are your columns. So in your Excel file, so let's say this is your Excel window. Uh, your Excel window looks like this. Your spreadsheet looks like this. Okay. So you have mandatory columns. Let's say you assign column A as code, column B as name, column C as type. So these are mandatory fields, meaning you must place items here. However, if you miss an entry as to the type, automatically the type is a customer. How about in your item? In your item master data, in placing your data in Microsoft Excel, what are the important fields? The important field is your item number. Item number. So the item number is required for importing new item master records and updating existing master records. Take note, these are only mandatory fields. So when we say mandatory, it must be needed or placed in your Excel. However, you can also add additional fields such as for item, let's say you can add item description. You can add item description, right? So they, uh, these items or fields are only mandatory, but you can also add. So it is up to your discretion on what particular fields will you add on your master data. Furthermore, aside from item, you can also upload price list. So for price list, you can specify the item code and the price you want to upload, the price list code, the price, and price list currency. But general rule, again, general rule, what can be uploaded are business partner and item master data. But you can also upload price list. Having known what can be uploaded and what are the items that we should place in those data, Let's now learn how to import those data in Excel or from Excel. Click Administration Module. From Administration Module, click Data Import or Export. Then click Data Import. Click Import from Excel. Now, here on the uh, fifth item here, you can choose the data type to import. So generally, that can either be business partner or item. After that, you can now choose the file to import. Take note, 
the file to import must be saved as a txt file so from ms excel save as txt file so it is a tab delimited text file tab delimited text file that is your file to import now you map the file columns to the object fields so this is the column in the file so for example this is our file this is our file abc123 that is our file now if you want to map it you map the field in the object so let's say the column a is uh considered as your business partner code so you place here column a is the bp code and let's say column bp name and let's say for column c that is your business partner type so column c bp type so in mapping in mapping again if this is your excel file the column in the file should represent a particular field so let's say column a represents bp code column b represents bp name column c represents bp type Another example, let's say we are importing we are importing an uh, item. We are importing an item. So uh, let's say column A here for our for our for our item is the item number. And column B is item description. So if you map it here, first choose here in your data type to import as item. And then in mapping, uh, for column A, what is our column A? Item number. And then our column B is item description. Okay? That's how we map the file column to your field. So in your file column, in an Excel file, there are columns and they are denominated through letters now a particular column should represent a par particular field so in our example column a represents bp code column b represents B uh, bp name column c bp type another example column a represents item number column b represents item description and then you map it you map it actually uh, when we try this one or when you try this one uh, this displays drop down menu okay so there is a drop down menu which now uh, gives you all the necessary fields uh, the different field in the object will show a drop down menu which shows now the different fields so you just need to choose the fields you want to place or you map in a particular column that's how you do it after that you click add new records and update existing records and click import click import that is how we import data from Excel. Okay. Now, again, data migration. So in data migration, there is an old system. You now transition to SAP. So there are three main processes. First, you need to select. Next, you need to extract. And lastly, you need to import. So in selection and extraction, you select and extract in the old system and you import it to SAP Business One. There are two ways to import the file in your SAP Business One. First, that is import through Excel. And then secondly, we have your data transfer or data transfer workbench data transfer workbench but what we will use is your import from excel and generally in importing from excel you have two data types business partner and then we have your item master data and take note in importing you must map the particular column to your fields and that is how we migrate your data 
from your old system to SAP.